Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Cubbin, and a uh, happy early Passover greeting to uh, many of my students. And um, in anticipation of the uh, upcoming Jewish holidays and our, what would have been our um, spring break, um, we are altering the uh, program, what you're going to be doing at home, uh, slightly to make uh, life a little more accessible for everybody. I know that, uh, no, this is not a picture of me. Uh, I know that uh, many of you for the next couple of days will not have access to uh, electronics. Um, but for today, I would imagine that many of my students, uh, particularly my uh, science talents, are working uh, diligently and speedily on their uh, Scranton Earth Day essays. Um, if you're going to be celebrating and you're not going to be uh, having access to the computer for the next couple of days, uh, then today would be the day to get it in. Uh, otherwise, uh, Friday is going to be the day. It's 400 words, not a big essay, uh, but it is mandatory. And uh, I've sent out several uh, notices on how to uh, format and update to Jupiter. It has to be formatted correctly and updated to Jupiter for you to receive credit. Okay. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to be doing is going to be changing the uh, program slightly by um, giving you the opportunity to do some, uh, some interesting uh, projects. Number one, for those students who are working on their exit projects, uh, you know that we are an uh, urban advantage school. And as a result, uh, we do get those vouchers and everything else to go to the museums and stuff. And they sent us this uh, uh, recent uh, contest, uh, and not really a contest, just a thing to do at home uh, based uh, with the Audubon Society. And uh, it is a, um, a pigeon watch. Now, you know how much I love field studies, and our field studies are very important. Um, when... when I started to look at this, uh, I became more engaged because it's pretty interesting. It's what we do. I know that I've talked to you about uh, either the fish in Sheepshead Bay or the clouds or the people walking down the street or the squirrels really in particular and watching their behavior. Uh, but this is also along those same themes and this is called a pigeon watch. Now, I know how people feel about pigeons. I know exactly how you feel and this is pretty much what you're thinking. You know, New York City folks, we like to refer to uh, pigeons as the official flying rat. Um, but, but that is not really the case. These are uh, relatively uh, exceptionally clean birds. They're very smart and they're used for many things. So as I started to go through this uh, project, uh, I did start to uh, research a couple of things that they spoke about in here and that you can too. Uh, keep in mind that what we're going to be doing over the next um, Thursday, Friday, and next week, um, many of these <clears throat> are optional. These are not required, but these are to keep your uh, toe in the pool, to say, and uh, so to keep you in the game and to keep you uh, actively researching and finding out information. Uh, you're going to have virtual tours. You're going to have a bunch of interesting stuff that I'm going to be posting, uh, and this is one of them. Uh, so if you go down, I'm going to be putting this uh, link along with this in Google Classroom. Uh, if you go down, it has some really interesting stuff. Uh, it gives you a little, some background on uh, pigeons. And um, it also gives you background on uh, some of the uh, uh, pieces of uh, the Audubon Society, which is really a very, really, a, a great uh, a group of people who do wonderful things for, uh, for the uh, environment. And uh, also, if you go on that site, uh, they have links to people like James John Audubon, who uh, began, uh, you know, it's, it's the, well, it's, it's his namesake. It was his idea to, uh, to start doing all of this research with the birds. But uh, it goes through an awful uh, interesting story about him, and uh, you'll learn quite a bit about uh, the Audubon Society. Let me see what else I have here. No, okay. So let's go back to our uh, project itself. So here's what I'm going to say you can do. We were supposed to be doing 
our magnet lab today. Since since with the holidays, some people won't be able to. We're going to put that off until after next week. Um, because as you know, we're going to be out until at least the 29th of uh, April. So we will be doing that lab uh, after next week. But uh, for this, uh, if you are working on um, your exit project, continue to work on the exit project. If you find that you have a lot of pigeons around your house and you want to change your exit project and you want to do pigeons now, change it up to pigeons. If you are um, a science talent, sixth or eighth grade, and you want to consider this an extra uh, uh, contest or competition, be my guest. So it gives you everything you need on here and also gives some really interesting, uh, I just want to see this again. I just love that picture. It gives some also interesting information on, uh, on the Pigeon Watch checklist. So the checklist goes through, uh, which we all know they come in a variety of colors. Uh, I didn't realize how they were classified. And it also gives you a, a behavioral checklist. So the same thing as we talked about with the squirrels, whether they're digging up nuts, whether they're eating nuts, whether they're chasing each other. So these are all um, uh, behaviors that uh, you'll be looking up uh, for them. And the beauty of this is that if you're sitting uh, in your house or apartment and you are staring out the window with nothing to do, watch the pigeons. Um, so let's take a look at some, oh, there's our friend again. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some of these things that are going to be. So some of the things that are on this checklist, if you go down the website, they are pointed out along here. And it's really very interesting. they got some great pictures, and they really have some interesting details on uh, what these behaviors are that the pigeons go through. So um, what I'm offering you today is to take a look through this. Um, take a look at your window. If you have, uh, here's your courtship, here's some of the things that they do. Um, we can listen to the audio. Let's see. I don't know if you can hear that. But uh, let me see. 